coefficients and all that, we said it's an order of n algorithm. So you have to, uh, the students have to explain that in that particular uh, example, okay? Give the big O notation briefly. Okay, now whenever we're talking about big O notation, the definition is, is the worst case analysis, right? When I'm doing the worst case analysis, in order to ensure that that I'm covering more than what the instructor is asking in the test, I would give a little bit of description on asymptotic analysis. The big O thing came because of the asymptotic analysis. Now what is asymptotic analysis? If you recall, we defined that. There is a slide where I defined that. And basically it means filtering out all the coefficients and lower order terms. We focus only on the higher order terms when we, by, when we are analyzing the complexity. So filtering out all of those things would, is the asymptotic analysis. And in the process, you are going to get the big O. It shows that, hey, your program car is, is the worst case. This is how much time it is going to take. That is what the big O is telling us. Okay. Ah, 3A is very interesting. So uh, I want some faculty member to help us all understand, right? There is something called stable sorting method and there's something called in sorting and all of those things. Now, I'll be very frank with you. Um, unless I'm preparing for the test, I'm, I'm memorizing some of these keywords, right? I would not remember on top of my hand, head, right? So what is a stable sorting method? Are you, are you, are you, are you referring to uh, like doing it in sort, in place sorting, or are you referring to something else? One of you can answer that in the chat, the faculty members. Looking at the time here, I think we're running out of time, but again, this question, these are posted there. Uh, students, if I were you, I would simply sit down with your friends, groups of two and three, and simply solve these two question sheets. Review the slide deck that I posted, unit one through three. Between these three, all of you should be acing the test. Is the test open book or closed book? All my tests here are open book, open book and open mind. Closed book, okay. Is that mandated by university or the instructor has some flexibility? And open mind, yeah. closed book with open mind. Yeah, I like that. Yep. And the mind is empty, then they are in trouble. Okay. Great. In, in, as a rule, I, I stopped giving uh, closed books. Uh, I, I never gave, more, actually most of my exams here tend to be project-based and collaboration-based group projects. Even in the class, they, they have access to books, notes, anything that they want, as long as they're not plagiarizing or copying, right? I also, uh, formulate my questions like that. I don't have them from, they're not as, they're slightly different than what you have here, so. Good, that is good. So uh, if, if you guys have any questions while you're preparing students, please feel free to post your questions in the community. Okay, thank you, Sri Prakash, for, sort, for, for uh, putting that the sta stable sorting means if any two keys, which have the same priority in the set, okay. But <laughs> students are expected to memorize that. I don't know if I gave any definition of that. I know I remember explaining something to that effect, but I don't necessarily recall giving them explicit definition for that. So student, that is one thing that you may want to see. See, that is why I said put your questions in the in in the community, right? So that way you would know what to look for. Okay. Any other questions?